What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, me and Duke here have been sorting through some metal. I made a video about, uh, you know, this copper score that I got from work. And see, here's the thing. Now that, uh, you know, I own a house, it's very difficult for me sometimes to just... I mean, I used to scrap every bit of wire I got. Always. Like, normally... This would have all been scrapped, but yeah, now that I own a house, you know, I kept all of the longest runs and I checked every inch of the insulation to make sure there was no nicks or breaks. So I did keep some of it on tap here. But yeah, we've sorted through the big pile of scrap that we got from that house. And uh, this is all the copper cleaned up, cut all the brass and all of the junk off. And we've got about, uh, I would say give or take about 90 pounds of copper there. And you should see the other bin. It's, I have about, yeah, I think about 200 pounds in the truck right now. So here's the uh, the other bin. We've got a lead battery right there. Super heavy battery. And pretty much any wire that I, you know, thought was, wasn't was worth the fight. You know what I mean? I would have been down there just way too long. You know what I mean? And we've got quite a bit of brass in there. And then there's a bunch of lead that we were cracking cast iron fittings. And these are the lead and oakum joints. I'm pulling that lead out and the guys at work are looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, it's got poop on it. It's like, I don't care. I'll take that. Thank you. So right here, battery and bin, we have about a little over 200 pounds. So we're gonna go to the scrap yard and see what we can get for all of this. All right guys, I scrapped in the brass and the lead and I went and got some propane. So this is how I do it. You know, I started scrapping for a while and I used the scrap money to buy the forge, the crucibles, all of the equipment necessary to condense, right? So I'll, I'm trying to keep it separate from my regular paycheck. So every time I scrapped, I would save the money and you know, eventually I bought the forge and all of, all of that stuff. And now that I have it, uh, it's basically um, to condense, I have to pay for gas. But every time I scrap, it seems like there's always brass, lead, and many other things. Like whenever I'm getting copper, there's like other things that I'm getting as well. AC condenser coils, whatever, and I'll save those. And I'll scrap those, you know. So I've been around the block when it comes to uh, propane. You know, I've, did, I've done Amerigas and Blue Rhino, but I feel like they underfill their tanks and they charge a premium because it's a convenience thing. So I go to Norwood Bottled Gas because for every nine tanks you fill, you get the 10th free. And obviously that brings down the cost of the first nine. So that adds to the bottom line. This is all just building on the question, is it worth melting copper down? If you have the space, no, it's not. But if you don't have the space, and you live in an apartment or whatever, the forge allows you to do something that you couldn't normally do. You know what I mean? So you just have to be smart about it. And, uh, th and this is just the way I justify it. Tell me if this makes sense. So I, I got all that scrap. I got copper, brass, lead, all of that. I, I went and scrapped the lead, the brass, and the miscellaneous wires I was not gonna fight with. I got $175. One tank of gas cost 22 bucks here. Let's just call it 25. So I got $175 from the, the stuff that I scrapped just now. Take 25 out for a bottle of gas because I need a bottle of gas to melt about 100 pounds of copper, which is what we have, roughly. So take 25 out, 
Well, that scrap that we just scrapped paid for the bottle of gas that we need to melt the copper down, and I still have 150 bucks left over in my pocket. And now I can take all of that copper that I don't have room for, condense it into small little blocks, and stick it in the safe. And that's just how I justify it. So I think it's time to fire up the forge. I mean, I think we got a perfect opportunity today. It's a holiday weekend. Can't do any side jobs because uh, no one's around. Just checking the weather here. Duke's ready to go, man. He's ready to go outside. But uh, they, they gotta, they gotta stop with this crap, man. I mean, yeah, just put the weather right. It's 19 degrees. It's gonna warm up to like 43 degrees. We do have some rain coming later tonight, so that's why I was checking. Cause, uh, just as long as there's no rain, cause that forge takes forever to cool off. But look at this. The air quality has reached a high level of pollution. It's unhealthy for sensitive groups. Stay indoors. Stay indoors. No wonder everybody's, everybody's sick. They're telling you fresh air is bad for you. <laughs> People believe it. Yeah, so me and Duke are going to go outside and get some fresh air. So we could stay healthy and strong and feed our ADD. You know what I mean? Let's go, Duke. All right, time to fire it up. Hopefully I got enough boiling hot water now that I can dump on the tank and get some pressure going. See this tank's like full and I'm having issues getting pressure. I gotta keep heating it up. But the wire's done. These are really thick copper pipes that we got. These are gonna be quite interesting. I don't know, it's like not three quarters it's not half inch it's like five eighths super thick threaded copper pipe usually copper pipe melts down pretty quick but this stuff is mega thick so it should be interesting
gonna go beast mode on the rest of uh, on the rest of that. Let's see how many bars we come out with. What are you doing up there? You want to be a roofer? What are you doing? What are you doing? You need help getting down, buddy? You want me to help you get down? Come here. No? You good? Alright. Have fun then. Crazy ass. Got up on the shed and then got into that pine tree in the neighbor's yard and, st and started climbing it. So I had to go get him. I just found out I can't put my wood pile there or I need to figure a way to block him from getting on the roof. So I just had to rip it all down. Like I don't care if he goes in the neighbor's yard but I don't want him climbing the freaking tree. That's all I need. Hundred pounds or yeah 90 pounds of copper melted there is the tank empty uh, very close you can still get some use out of a gas grill or something but I might be able to warm up the next you know the next batch I can warm up the crucible with this and then switch to another tank and that's usually what I do we got, uh, what did we get? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. We got 16. Yeah, I said 16 to 18 bars. We got 16. So, probably a little bit more, but a bunch of slag. And actually, a bunch of it, uh, there's still a pancake at the bottom of the crucible, not enough for a, a pour. And every time I melt, some falls over the edge and there's like a huge pancake of copper at the bottom of the forge that I'll have to dig out one day. But I'm going to clean all this up and then we're going to clean these up and get a final way up. Alright, there we go. All cleaned up. There was 85.5 uh, pounds. What we just did. And uh, I already have, uh, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 bars in there. So we're, I don't know. This is 85. Uh, let's say 90. 100, 10, 20, 30, 45. 145-ish, maybe more. Cause some of these bars are like five pounds some of them are 5.5 5.6 i don't know how much is in there and i'm not lugging it all to the basement to reweigh it but it seems like that old copper pipe you see the back of that bar it didn't shrink any and you got that nice wrinkly texture that tells me that copper was really pure like 
I know it's never exactly pure. The wire is usually uh, the most pure, but when you get copper bars that do this, you see how it like expanded like it, like a loaf would <laughs> in your oven? Yeah, this, this has some impurities in it, but it's still a copper bar nonetheless. Yeah, so every single bar that I poured today, I mean, look at the backs. That's usually how you can tell. They all have that same wrinkly texture. They didn't uh, expand or contract abnormally. I mean, copper seems to shrink a little tiny bit in the middle and sometimes not even, you know what I mean? They usually, they usually stay pretty flat, but that wrinkly back is a good sign that these bars are. Yeah, I mean, it was older copper if you think about it, right? Because it seems like, uh, yeah, there's another one in here. Man. These two, I don't know what they came from, but not exactly great for stacking. You know what I mean? Because they, uh, they're all bulged, so I guess those will be sidebars. But uh, yeah, if you think about it there, you know, probably back then they didn't really mix it with other metals. They weren't trying to make it any cheaper. It was just like straight copper, you know, that they made those pipes out of. Unlike today's pipes, where it's uh, there's other metals mixed in, so it's not pure when it comes to plumbing pipes. But you know, sterling silver is uh, 92.5, right? 925. It's not pure silver. Uh, is it still valuable? Yes. So that's the way I look at copper. I don't exactly care that some of it's 95%, some of it's 92%, some of it's 98%, some of it's 99% pure. It is, there's a mixture in there, but it's all worth something to me. So I'm gonna keep stacking it up. And don't forget, I save these every time I find one. Silica gel packs. No matter how small, how big. And uh, I just chuck them all in here. Especially around the copper. Because around the copper and the ammo, I do a lot of desiccant bags. Because the uh, copper, believe it or not, because we just dunk them in water, some of those might have little pores and they still have a bit of water in them, so... I don't want that to affect everything else in here. So, yeah, lots of desiccant. Good thing we ignored the weatherman, huh? Because it got quite nice out there. I was in a t-shirt in no time. I would say the air quality out there was fine. I actually feel a lot better now that I went outside and did something. You know, I feel like I uh, accomplished something today. You know, it, always, it puts you in a better mood. So... You know the, the the metal, yeah, we did pull some slag out, so we did we did purify them a little bit, but it's impossible to get it all out. And I feel like the first scrapyard that I went to, they gave me ten cents under number one, and then the second scrapyard that I went to, they actually scanned it with a gun, an XRF gun, and kind of separated it out and go, okay, that's 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 pipe, that's wire, you know. But for the most part, they're like, we're not going to give you the top price. We're not going to give you the bottom price. We're going to give you something in the middle. Hey, that's fair because some of that's number two. Some of that's number one. Some of that's bare bright. So yeah, whatever. You know, at the end of the day, I came across a huge pile of scrap. I still put 150 bucks in my pocket and then was able to stash some aside. Um, that's not in US dollars. That's cash money sitting there. It's just not in US dollars. Because it feels like our dollars are getting a beat down these days. So I'd prefer, if I can, 
you know, just hold on to that. It's a, it's a nice rainy day fund, nonetheless, and if we can hold on to it until price hits like four bucks, even, then that 400 turned into 580, you know, or more. And then we can continue to grow it. And it's just, it's, just, it's a nice thing to have. And guess what? The weatherman said it was good. It's so bad outside, stay inside. But the forge got me and Duke outside for several hours today and I feel a lot better now that I went out there. It's actually really nice outside right now. And Duke is tired because he was climbing uh, trees and things. But yeah, anyways. That's it for this one. Tell him, Duke. Tell him to subscribe. And smash the thumbs up button. Or you'll bite their face off. He will. Yeah, anyway, see you later.